Here at home, the reaction is swift. Community leaders are condemning what they saw in that video. We're going to show you that video in just a second. But again, we do want to warn you that it is very, very graphic. Our Luke Jones is live outside police headquarters with reaction and more on that video. Luke, good evening. Good evening, Kyle. And tonight, police are urging calm. They say peaceful protest is welcome, but they're urging anyone who takes part in that to just refrain from violence. Now, a bit of a backstory to the video we're about to show you. So from the very moment Tyree Nichols is pulled over, police immediately resort to force. You can see them dragging him from his vehicle, pulling him down to the ground. At one point, he manages to get away and takes off running on foot. But it's when police catch up with him that the beating starts. Now, a lot of these videos we just aren't showing because it's simply too graphic for television, but here's what we can show you. Punch after punch captured on this light post mounted Skycop camera. Moments before, in video too graphic to show on TV, you can see one officer kick Tyree Nichols right in the head. He's already restrained as we count police hit him with a baton at least three times. They punch him at least five times. I am... I am thoroughly disgusted to the pit of my soul at what I saw today. Local activist Iris Rowley watched the video just minutes after its release. It's extremely traumatizing. It is the most horrible thing. It reminds you of slavery. And one thing that struck her, the officer's behavior in the minutes after the beating. I heard laughter and I heard joking. What I didn't hear, um, the concern for life. Rowley met virtually with Cincinnati's mayor and police chief hours before the video's release. Chief Fiji calling for a measured response. It's our responsibility to make sure that people can exercise their constitutional right, exercise it safely. We do have a responsibility to protect property in the city, protect individuals in the city. Um, but a peaceful protest is always welcome in the city of Cincinnati. And right now we're not getting word of any protest, but we'll definitely be keeping an eye on things should that change. We're live tonight in the West End. Luke Jones, Local 12 News. All right, Luke, thank you. And today Chief Fiji reaffirms CPD's commitment to making sure something like this doesn't happen here at home. She says the department tracks complaints against officers each quarter and flags those who seem to have an excessive number of complaints. When deadly or serious force is used, she promises a news conference with details within 24 hours and says CPD will generally release the body camera video at that time.